the Lord is with you. But Mary was troubled at his words. She wondered what kind of greeting this was. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, for I have, for you have found favor in the eyes of God. You will be with child, and you will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. But Mary asked, how can this be? Because I'm a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you, so that the one born to you will be called the Son of God, and you will name him Jesus. Mary answered, Let it be to me as you have said, for I am the Lord's servant. And the angel left. Now, like I said, Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Now, Joseph was a good man, and he did not want to expose her to public disgrace. So what he decided was to divorce her quietly. And after he had considered these things, an angel of the Lord spoke to him in a dream and said, <coughs> Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. So after Joseph woke up, he did whatever the angel had told him. Now meanwhile, we're in the Roman Empire, right? Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census be carried out of the entire Roman Empire and everyone had to go to their own town to register. So Joseph went out of Galilee, in Nazareth, uh, of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, which is the town of David, because he was from the house and line of David. So Joseph went with Mary to register because he was pledged to be married to Mary, and she was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. And she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, which is basically a feeding trough, because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were shepherds in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. But they were terrified. But the angel said, do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today, in the town of David, a Savior is born. He is Christ the King. And this will be a sign. You will see a babe wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a great company of heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. After the angels left, the shepherds said, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what this is all about, that the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, and he was lying in a manger. After they had seen him, they went and told everyone about what they had been told about the child. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, Magi, or wise men, came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? We have seen a star in the east and have come to worship him. Now they asked King Herod this because he was the king and they thought he would know where this new king was born. But Herod, when he heard this, he was concerned that this new king would be a threat to his throne. So he said to them, go and look carefully for this child. As soon as you find him, report to me 
so that I too may worship him. After they heard the king, they went on their way. And the star that they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And coming into the house over which the star had stopped, they found the child with Mary, his mother. And they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, of incense, and of myrrh. But because they had been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they went back to their own country through another route. Now all of these events took place 2,000 years ago. And as you heard, it was a scary time. It was a confusing time. But yet, it was the time when the Son of God was born as a little baby. And all these thousands of years later, we still celebrate Christmas because that baby is as relevant to us today as he was then. And now Dr. Nanaya is going to tell us a little more about why we celebrate this child at Christmas. <laughs> 